Well, Letitia, the Trotwood City Council unanimously voted against Leo's Two Bar here in uh, on Salem Avenue on the 4100 block. This initiates a process to revoke their liquor license. We went in, we talked to a customer and the bartender. It's a great establishment. I come here a few times a week. Family, friends just get together every week. Christy Roberts tells us she wouldn't come to Leo's Two Bar if it wasn't safe. But Trotwood police say they've been asking the city council to revoke the liquor license here even before the officer involved shooting 10 days ago. And what happened outside here prompted proactive action by the bar. We made the changes that uh, we feel like it needs to be made. Uh, we're now 30 and up. <laughs> You know, we're, we're trying to work with them. Here's what Trotwood Police Chief Quincy Pope tells us, though, in response to the council's vote. He says it's a step in the right direction to addressing the imminent public safety at Leo's Bar. Behavior and actions at the bar have put the community and community at large at risk, as well as public safety personnel. Ten days ago, 21-year-old Deontay Cockburn was shot in the arm after investigators say he led the undercover Dayton officer and a Trotwood officer on a foot chase following an altercation at Leo's Two Bar. He had been suspended of carrying a gun and was later found to have a semi-automatic weapon in his possession, according to officials. But bartender Jamie G tells us they're making changes on their own accord and says it's not only a smart decision for safety, but also for business. A lot of people won't be coming here and we'll be, you know, people will be losing jobs. There'll be some, uh, more problems for the city of trouble because people, they're going to have to have somewhere to go. They're going to end up having a lot of them on the corner just starting trouble. All we want them to do is give us a chance to make a, a proper moves to make everybody happy. And at this point, it's still unclear who shot the undercover officer on the tour, so he is out of the Miami Valley Hospital right now, and as well as a suspect, the suspect has been taken to Montgomery County Jail. Reporting live in Trotwood, Una Lee, News Center 7.